Hello YouTube, I know I said I'd skip the emails and stuff, but here I've got things talking about like anti-allergy food and health food becoming a trend. One of the stories was, or one of the news stories on one of the other forums was about real money trading for in-game items and stuff. And I'm like, I really feel like that's, that's relevant to our world at the moment with with microtransactions and stuff like here real money trading is paying a person to pretty much grind for your character uh i give you my character's password and 20 bucks and you go out and use my character to farm so i don't have to um i wouldn't do it but i feel like that could totally be a thing i think it is a thing like i i know Official name to the CC Corp project is GU, and the name Raven is just a front. I'ma ask what GU stands for, gosh darn it. Cause I think he answers with like, I don't know. Hey, what's up? Well, we're finally ready for that thing. Could you not tell Pi about it? Please, pretty please. Uh, you don't want Granny to know you have been flirting behind her back or something, bruh? What? What? No, where was it? News. Yeah, there's... No, we'll, we'll skip that. Just the fact that they're talking about things like that. People paying to level their characters. I know, I think that was a big thing in big MMOs of maybe 5-10 years ago. I think there was a big ruckus about stuff like that for like wow and it's online auction stores and stuff like that but again this game's over 15 oh, years old year. it's talking about global warming going. and genetically altered foods are, and microchips in kids and anymore. you're like these are things that are the old hags mainstream too? now well like this game just there's no new. guarantee we won't come across any danger You coming? Hurry up and invite me already. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got Pi's member address. Really? I got an email? Can I log out? I can! That seems kind of dickly of me. Alright guys, just invite me. Nah, man, I got an email. I'll be back in like two whole minutes. It's like, jerk. <laughs> Oh, she replied to my email. I got an affection increase. Yay! Affection just helps them get more morale when you do. Now that you're part of GU, he's n she's not gonna let me be pretty much a jerk. Uh, gets all dark and serious because I feel like he would hobbies serving yada master yada ma master yada oh my gosh yeah she has a problem but she's hot <clears throat> I really do like the character models for this game um my wife was enamored with some of the sprite work. Yeah, they're still waiting there for me. Okay, where'd party go? But see here, like, you can't invite anyone else. It's guaranteeing that you bring them. Which is fine, they're both combat characters, and I have a heal spell, so... Bookmark, great cursed in lols. Given by Coon, head here to learn how to summon avatars. Ooh, it's rainy. Treasure level one. That's nice. And it's a boss map. Yeah, I like bosses. But no, there are completion things for all, right, all sorts of stuff. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? 
You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? She's so mean. Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn. How dare you speak of Master Yada like? Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Why'd yes. you bring Pi if we you know she and too. Haseo were gonna just like rip each other that. to shreds? Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. See, they never really explain, I don't think, why roughly, my character kind of can like use an epitaph and, like, my old me couldn't. It's something about, like, maybe random thing or connection Altering of data. person to, yep. like, That's PC, the like there's some and sort of has. spiritual link or something. I used data drain to put me back to level one. Which would be silly, because that would mean that, like, Triage data draining you is what unlocked you being able to use an avatar. Is which is really cool. Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? But I don't have Inside a heart. Your heart. I sacrificed the it for power own ages ago. And willpower are the origins of avatars. Which is why You're very right. few players can use avatars is because game, it's right? kind of like, again, How it's a, a lot like SAO. It's like you're doing something through the headset that correlates into the game as some sort of anomaly that lets you, you know, different how break things or become god mode like Kirito. To our character, I'm gonna say now, I actually like that anime. I know a lot of people don't, but I'm like, the first season is a really cool idea. I don't like the last like episode, but up until that, it's really fun. Wait a minute, what the? Something is. Something is Three starting to. It's. It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. How do begin. you train to just? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. It's kind of like um. Oh, I don't remember what the game's called, but like. Here until you get it. Part of the game mechanics where you had battle? to like sync yes. you with the game, Battles or like the sync up for you to some sort of mechanic. And that don't remember will help what you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? <laughs> You've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. See, now, we're in a video game talking about fate and, and emotions. And I'm like, I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Okay, first off, talk to Ally. Yay. First off, talk to Ally. Yay. I'm gonna give you a tidal wave. Oh, be quiet, Pi. No one likes you anyway. I'm gonna give you a tidal wave. Does nobody like items? Honestly, come on. Nah, you got nothing I need. Oh, wait, I got something maybe you need. Totally forgot I had this. Ugh. I don't have anything, I don't think, for her. See, but that's... Oh, no, that's her stuff. Yeah. Alrighty, so I guess we're off, right? Yeah? Cool? 
That was a lot of info dump that wasn't really info dump. Get used to it, folks. There's a lot of those here. Like, people going, yeah, so, uh, avatars and epitaphs. No clue how that crap works, but we're, we're trying to just replicate it as best we can. Okay. Come on, no! I don't know how to get Rangekis against these guys. Holy crap, they're both in the teens? Jeez, that's convenient. More wizard seals. Wait, where are their fronts? Oh, nope, that's their front. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to go for that S here for once. You're mine! S's mean sneak attacks, defying every enemy in the area. Okay, so she's the monk type who's pretty much just I punch it and it ceases to exist. He is a steam gunner, which means he's got like a little gun blade thing. I'm an adept rogue, which means I can technically use any weapon in the game, but there are certain like quest lines or levels I have to hit to be able to do that crap, which is super cool. I like I like the idea. Nope, no mages. Come on, go in a circle so I can jump you. Who will fight fair? Who does that? Their achievements for getting like 200 sneak attacks and winning a thousand fights. Oh, I'm gonna get that rank kick, you go. 3 XP, morale boost. I was hoping I could get him twice. Ooh. Oh, right, because there's a boss, not. I'm slow. I do like... Okay, and the s crossed swords are the boss I need to fight. So let's not. And just... <laughs> I don't get it either, it's Haseo. Cool. It's okay. Yay. <laughs> See, these guys are nice and needy when it comes to... How much punishment they can take. And Pi is great for. Gosh, I don't know. For gang Rangekis because she hits really fast on like Ivy. And really, Rangekis are based off of like number of hits than they are damage. Like some Amis, if you hit them really hard, they get really upset about that. Yay, I gained a level. They're gaining, like, nothing from this. Okay. Dropping me a cane. <laughs> yes, Kuhn. Let us kill Chim Chims together. But now all you do is, like, kick them and their little hat thing pops off. Okay, since I'm here, we'll just go down this way. Yeah? Yeah? Jump this guy. We will also hit the Oh, I can use this. Sweet! Achievement for using these, too. Oh, right! I switched my awakening, so now it's not... It's now, like, an uber magic attack that just rains from the sky. I forgot how kind of cruddy it is. Damn. Get to use an awakening and start recharging it all in the same go. Yeah, they're getting, like, so little XP. I'm sorry, guys. Open this. Another health drink. Yay. Ohm Shell will let me do water damage. Jinx's Bane. Oh, wait. 
Is that a piece of armor I can actually equip? No. Oh, nullify curse. I put on my armor. Okay, so let me put on my armor. Because I think curse makes it so you can't use magic. Pretty sure. Neither of them really uses magic. I will definitely give one of those to, like, Gaspard and Adley, though. Because that's, that's going to become important probably late game. I don't remember Curse being a big issue in the first game, but again, it's been a few years since I last played, so I could be completely wrong. Come on. Turn. You too. Come on. Let's get going. No! Why did he turn? Oh, jeez. Oh, thank you, whoever just healed me. Both with that kill. No. And she's pretty much killed him. Dog on it. I had an opportunity and died already. But see how much more money I'm getting this time around? But gosh darn it, there goes that S. But I think if I can get like all S's and an A, I have a chance. Your guard's down. Again, it's been a lot. No. You don't get to magic, my friends. Especially when they're healing. Oh. No! The dead one! Yeah, let's. No! Gosh darn it! That's frustrating. Okay. Don't need to go up. Do need to go down, though. Oh! Looks like there's a mecha grunty over there. There's also probably an achievement for kicking all the animals, but... Oh well. Ah, 2,000 gold. That's nice. Late game it won't matter for Jack, but... Oh, gosh darn it! I like the beast one. Darn it. Nope, he's dead. Well, that's that, I guess. No, just I thought they were facing away from me and then they turned to face me. I remember this. Let's see. Now he should need what, six chim spheres? Yeah. Yay, and I already have triple digits, which makes this game so much easier. He gets his own little Superman song, and he flies away like a cutie. He's adorable. Mecha Grunty is my best friend. No, I have lots of favorite characters in this game. Like, Mecha Grunty's cool pretty much all of Raven and Kennard. Again, not the biggest fan of Yada, just because he's super cryptic. But he also was super cryptic in the first game, too. Your wise man was. Meanwhile, he's like, are you sure? Because I feel like fighting countless battles is what I was doing before when I was the terror of death. I get it. But again, I'm like a level 1 using... No, I'm a level 9 using level 1 gear still, because most of the gear is... Like... Next time. 
next fight, I will just use the Awakening right from the start, because I can. Which is awesome. Not even going to worry about saving it for the boss, because the bosses in this game are kind of a joke. I already got a trophy for chim kicking? What? Okay. I guess there's one for like kicking 50 and then kicking like maybe 200 or something. Your guard's down. And we'll use this. Here it comes. All right. I'll finish it. And wreck these guys. <laughs> You gotta use a lot of awakenings, and that one's my favorite just because you get a movement speed buff, you get an attack damage buff. Like, late in the third game, your Beast Awakening is cool because it takes, like, or Beast Awakening gets replaced with a different name, but it does pretty much the same thing. You charge up a super magical attack that does crap tons of damage. Did I miss a spot? No, I didn't. Cool. Next time I'll bring my girlfriend? What? But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Meanwhile, there's a tree summoning monster about avatar. to just smash me in the face. I'll summon you. Avatar, come on, come on now, come on, come on! <gasps> Haseo? Hey! Huh? How should we handle this? How should we handle this? You beat the crap out of it! Like, oh! Ah! 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 oh. Oh, sleep. Okay. I don't have anything that makes people need to sleep, though. Oh, this is going to suck. Ow. <laughs> no. But I don't think you can negate his attacks, which is kind of a pain. Oh, good. My character's going to finally attack. Nope. Uh, using your skills will help negate damage. You get some invincibility frames, I do believe. Which is nice. Bosses don't usually uh, Rangeki. So, that's a thing. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch! Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Again, I think he's just uh, a beacon well, and there's like some the your lack of uber ghosty tech thing that's just floating around users, looking you, for him in the game world. Don't know how to use it. Well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? Oh, I missed an object too? Gosh darn it. 
Oh, but I got a third word, so that's cool. There's a couple of achievements for getting like 60 first, second, and third words. And it's like, over the course of all three games, like, is it's gonna happen, just... It's gonna suck. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Again, sorry about these weird cutscenes, guys. Cone, I don't like these myself, videos being this long can either. completely control the power of our avatars. Uh. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? In other words, only use it if in the most dire of emergency and or to, to like it. fight the Ida virus even bug if it was thing. The exact same power other than that, those that, you shouldn't even use it. You. Like, never touch it. <laughs> you seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the True. mess I'm in right now. If there was a way to avoid being involved, he wouldn't be, you know, level 1 again. Or level 10. Woohoo, level 10, yay! Alright guys, that is the end of this episode. I know it probably wasn't the most enrapturing thing learning more about the lore and story of avatars and exactly what they do or don't do. Uh, with that, I will let you all go. Lights out.